Well, we're finally in the month of October and there are several holidays to celebrate. Of course, we're all excited for Halloween on the 31st. Mm. Also, um, I'm accepting gifts and cards on my birthday on the 24th, but today, thank you. Today, Sean, is a very exciting day for those of us who love to be in the light. It is National LED Light Day. Yeah, that's a real day. And here to explain the thing. is Catherine Emery. She's a home improvement lifestyle expert with Be The Best Home. It's great to have you, Catherine. Hi. You're looking very bright today. I'm here to shed light on why today is such an important day. No, seriously, you guys, okay, there is a day for everything, but I ran the incandescent light bulb phase out for Home Depot, so I truly am a light bulb geek. And National LED Day, on October 7, 2014, the three scientists that developed the blue that is in LED bulbs received the Nobel Peace Prize. It wasn't until this blue was developed that we could use LEDs as they are white today. The LEDs were actually developed in the 50s, but it wasn't until 2014 that they developed, or I'm sorry, it wasn't until these three scientists discovered the blue, and then in 2014, they were given the Nobel Peace Prize for it. So there you go. Wow. Got the peace cool prize. Right there. If you think about it though, because LEDs are like, they save so much power compared to the old incandescents, and they've come so yeah. long in the past several years and, like the early LEDs and they say one, which is also like six like an average led is about top rate is about six dollars a year and at about eighty dollars for the life of the bulb and they last like you said you know 15 to 20 years yeah. so um, so let's talk about we're going to go into what to look for when you buy a light bulb because it's very confusing these days right so um mm -hmm. and then we'll go cool features and it is october fire safety so of course we have to be safe as well so um so you look at things you used to look at watts right you just walk into a store and go all right i need 80 watt i need 60 watt i need 100 watt now what you're looking at is lumens and lumens is the brightness yeah. so you'll notice it's there's and there's all the labels on the packaging nowadays that make it super easy so the lower the lumens the, you know, kind of the 45 watt, 60 watt, the higher the lumens, the brighter. So I always joke, the lower the lumens, the better the love life. I, I know some, I, I know some low lumen people. <laughs> totally. Yeah. So, and then, but the really important thing you want to think about is Kelvins and that's, that's the color rendering. So oh, the, the higher temperature. Mm. Kelvin temperature, the bluer it's going to be. And you can't really see this here, but this is like a lower Kevin, Kelvin. Like this is a daylight and this is a cooler one. So this is a daylight. So let me just give you a spectrum. 1900 Kelvins is a candle. 10,000 Kelvins is the sun. So it's that blue color. Gotcha. So when you go shopping for a bulb, you know, you want to look in your kitchen and bathroom, find a daylight, which is like about 5,000 Kelvins. When you go into, when you're in like your office, so you want to do tasks in the room, those rooms, right? Yeah. So then when you're in your office, you want like a cool, maybe not as like, not as blue, not as energetic. Um, so you'll look for a bright or a cool one that's about 4,000 Kelvins. And then you want that warm where you're just chillaxing, right? In your like living room, in your kitchen, I'm sorry, in your living room or your bedroom. So did I help you at all with how to buy a light bulb? No, I, listen, very... I, I have bought uh, all of these are LED. I have LEDs everywhere. So yeah, I'm all about it. You got me. Isn't I'm, it great? I'm a nerd. <laughs> so, so hopefully that. So, go ahead, JJ. Oh, you hit on oh, yeah. one of my big pet peeves, which is color temperature. Um, and I, I do find it a little challenging to understand it on the boxes. I understand it in real life. And I feel like um, cool light has kind of, you know, come into fashion. Um, but I think too cool of light can make a room look kind of like gray and um, oh, yeah. green. So I Very. like it somewhere right in the middle. Um, what Start. about um, what about what about cool technology? Um, oh, how does that come into play when we're talking about an LED? So I have here with me the GE LED Plus series. So it's a regular light bulb, and they all have extra one extra thing they do, and there oh. are so many features so let me give you an example this one is their battery backup so when the power goes out it's actually no I can't way. see it. isn't that awesome cool. so it wow. will still your lamp when the power goes out there in Vegas for five hours it doesn't need power and then the minute you screw it back in it just starts charging again so just an awesome awesome technology from from GE this one is the color bulb. Ooh. So like we were talking about before, 
Um, did I turn it off? I did turn it off. So like we were talking, well, here's, here's orange for right. Halloween. So you have eight different fun colors, but those color renderings that we were talking about before, you can go between the different, you know, you can go between soft white and daylight. So mm -hmm. you can actually get two different color temperatures, JJ. So like say in your living room, you're having people over, you want it a little brighter then, or you just want to chill and watch a movie, you can change it all in this bulb and they have dimmability. Oh, cool. And for those people that don't want to use a phone, it's got a remote. So, you know, you don't have to worry about that. Um, then there's one, I wanted to crank this in, but we're using my device, the LED speaker. Sean, I could see you cranking these, right? Please. Plus either, so you literally will, uh, you can sync up to 10. So you want surround sound in your house, go buy 10 light bulbs you and you've got it. Isn't that amazing? That is really? so cool. I love that. It's That's so great. Really cool. so, the G, so there's dust to dawn where it will turn off in the day, turn off at night. You know, I'm sorry, reverse that. Um, this is linkable motion. So it's a motion. It's all this technology though is built in these bulbs. So just amazing. The G LED plus bulb series, go to Lowe's. You'll see them all. You'll see it. And you'll know how to buy them now. So, so and, then, and then last but not least, we don't want to run out of time for fire safety because it is October fire safety. First alert has this new easy fire spray. Here's why I love it. It's first of all, a fire extinguishers. We've played with them before in studio. They're intimidating, right? The pin pull aim sweep. This is just a light aerosol can easy to hold, easy to use. It's got a very wide spray. So when you do have to use it, if your aim is off, you're gonna get that fire out. And then it, the, the firefighting agent will put out any kind of fire. So grease fire, electrical wow. fire, all of them. So, so you're it's covered. All the letters. It's all the letters, right? right. And, then, and then it's got, the firefighting agent is biodegradable and non-toxic. So heaven forbid you have to use it. It's not gonna damage your stovetop. And hey, don't get it on the food and then you can just keep eating the food. But um, uh, that's, that's hey, a cat. You can pick that up Thank at Lowe's so too. Um, great yeah, item. Awesome. We can get all these things at Lowe's. We run out of time. Thank you so much for, for enlightening us. Yes, by the way, Cat loves and lighters trigger. so much, he's going to give them away they're for Halloween. Yeah, everybody. They're not as tasty as big cats, but they're bright. Uh, we love you there, Catherine. Uh, listen, you want to catch up on uh, any of the cool stuff that she has showed us, you can just go to be the best home.com, be the best home, a proud sponsor of the Morning Blend.